Hey what's going on guys, Crazy here, welcome back to some more Outriders. Today let's take a look at some really big mistakes that you're likely doing right now which are going to hold you back quite a bit. And some of these I'm guilty of myself as well, it took me a while until I noticed that I was doing these mistakes since the game doesn't immediately make it obvious that you're doing them or that you're accidentally gimping yourself as you're trying to get closer to the max possible level and world tiers and challenge tiers. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. By the way, you still have time to take part in our April giveaway for a free game of your choice, of course it can be Outrider on a platform of your choice or any other game out there in the list of games and of course I'm going to announce the winner both here on this channel as well as via the email address provided at the end of the month and of course huge shout out to Instant Gaming for also making this possible. Now in a previous video I was talking about a pretty good method of farming world tiers especially if you feel like you're not achieving the ones that you want to or maybe some of the um, higher challenges are a little bit too much for you and the bosses you can't take them down while well, there was one in one of the early stages where you could just farm some of these smaller monsters and you would still get a decent amount of world tier XP. Well, what if I told you that there's actually way better ones out there that I'm surprised nobody's talking about them for some reason, but here is one of my favorites. Well, actually, there's two. Um, one of them is going to be located in the gate. It's going to be called that Hunt Wendingo, which I was talking about in a previous video, but this time around, we're going to farm it in a different way. And then there's also the one in the desert dunes it's a different hunt for something called like the Horus and this one is going to be even better but it's more aimed towards um, Tagnomancers. Now here are a few of the reasons why this particular hunt right here is much better at getting XP, leveling up fast and also getting a ton of epics in the process as well. First of all it's right next to your camp. This means that you don't have to travel too much in order to get it. Second of all, as soon as you spawn inside of it, you're going to notice that again, we have a ton of these smaller monsters around the same level as they were in the previous level I was talking about, with the exception that now we also have a boss that also provides additional XP, it is way faster, and of course it also provides those items I was talking about. But what's cool about this is that it's a pretty small area, so all you have to do is to just avoid avoid these monsters in the first phase, just head over in the back, once Wendingo spawns just jump onto him with all of your skills and abilities and take him down. Now normally what we would do from this point on is let the remaining ads take us down so we can reset the fight which in the process would also make us lose some of that world tier XP that we just gained. Well what if I told you that there is a way to both keep this, reset the fight and also like do everything without any penalty whatsoever and there's actually two ways in which you can do this. One of them and the easiest is to just be sure that there's at least one mob remaining so that the fight doesn't get finalized, just exit to your main lobby and then re-enter again and lo and behold what this does is it completely resets the fight from the very beginning even though you only left one single mob at the end of it and yes that includes the end boss as well so what this means is that you can easily farm those world tiers and in one of these shots I believe I reached world tier 14 just doing this like a couple of times of course I was already like pretty high in the world tier anyway but there's a second method in which you can do this in case you accidentally complete that and that is well lo and behold just abandon the quest and retake it again yes i know shocking that you can abandon quests in outriders so in this shot right here for example i purposefully took down the entire area so i finished the main quest i just exited outside since it's right outside of the camp that you can spawn into and from that point on all i had to do was to go into my menu log and abandon the quest yes very shocking that you can do that in this game and what this does is that it completely resets that and you can retake it and do all of that in the exact same area. But another big mistake that I did also quite often in the game is putting aside all greens and not actually using them. What if I told you that actually greens might be some 
of the best items you can use in crafting and that is for one single reason which all revolves around improving rarity so let me show you a few examples right here for example with this standard rifle if i were to go ahead and improve its rarity from green all the way up to rare it gives me the option to not just like get an additional mod but it gives me the option to choose one of the three possible mods that can spawn at the same time so it's pretty inexpensive at this point it's a few thousand iron for weapons and a few thousand leather for armor but it's really inexpensive in the end game to do this and you have way way more control over the mods that you're going to get on your gear so this means you can get desirable items to push harder content much easier and much faster and as you can see, in this case, it also works exactly the same if you push to purple quality, case in which you're again given an option to choose between, this time around, any of the tier 2 mods from the three selections that you have and by the way this includes mods that you might have not even unlocked at this point so you can literally get new mods that you did not have before simply because they might appear and you might have more chances since you now have a selection screen of three instead of whatever the gear randomly drops with it's also even better and even easier for something like an armor piece since in this case it's really easy to take a ton of these leather pieces as you can see i have a ton of them it's also pretty inexpensive to level these up from green all the way up to purple and you have way more control over those mods now if you want to get these more reliably especially as you reach level 30 well what do you know the very first city we were in with the worst possible vendors that we visited are actually coming in and saving us because all of their inventory is filled with greens again it's not going to be the most expensive like 20k to 30k AP but in the end game you should easily have 1 million plus if you just farm other epics and do this in the process so you can come back to this maybe find a cool piece of gear and you can promote that all the way up to the maximum and get a much better version even compared to most of the epics that you might get but speaking of traps let's talk another very big one which at this point i'm not really sure if it's intended if it's a bug or not but i will explain it and it all revolves around around raising attributes and then leveling up there is a process in which you can literally lose a ton of your hard-earned titanium if you upgrade an item the wrong way so in this case the wrong way is to raise attributes first and then level that item up let me give you an example with this so if i were to go ahead and raise any of these attributes as you can see it increases by 0.25 percent or by like 50 depending on what i'm upgrading but the problem is that if i go into level leveling up as you can see if i level something up the outcome of those secondary stats will be random which is marked by the question mark so this literally means that if i previously upgraded the attribute it could very well become lower as a result of leveling up and the weird balancing that sometimes the crafting is doing with these items so let me show you an actual example with a rare item so that it's not as expensive so in this case i will go ahead and increase its close range damage which increases from 7% to 7.29% and it costs quite a bit of those um, shards that I already collected. Well let's see what happens if I go in and after upgrading these stats I go in and level it up. As you can see, the game is telling me that I'm getting random stats and lo and behold, it just dropped from 7.29 to just 7%. So until this is fully addressed, this is my recommendation. First, level up an item and then handle all of the raise attributes thingy because you might lose quite a bit on that. Now, admittedly, I did not test this if I were to fully upgrade an item with all of the five upgrade slots. But what you need to know is that if you raise attributes, every time you level it up again, Again, it's going to reset the raise attributes count so in theory if this is a bug it should be better the other way around but until we have a full clarification from the developers this is my recommendation level up and then raise the attributes if you don't want to lose them in the first place but this brings me to the final point on the list and I've seen quite a lot of people asking me um, how do you get to play more easily on high world tiers and I was quite shocked to see that some people 
people were struggling even on world tier like 7 or 8 or anything below 10 well here is what you need to know this game currently heavy emphasizes dps builds as in they are extremely strong if you play as a as a glass cannon right now in outriders you're going to fare much better than if you were to play as a tank or sustain or anything else that isn't pure dps and for that reason i fully recommend to check any gear and equip it if it lists bonus firepower right there on top in my case there's three stats that i'm actually looking for on top of bonus firepower i would be looking for a cooldown reduction for my really powerful abilities since i'm using a trickster and then close range damage since most of the damage i'm doing is close range maybe with a few crit damage um, numbers in between there as well but this is usually what i would be looking for for my specific class now why is all of this important well it's because of the hidden stats that you actually get on top of the primary ones that the game doesn't really fully explain so if you go into your stats view into your character's inventory yes there's a button for that right there on the bottom left corner of the screen you can see exactly what firepower actually gives you in this case i have like 40k firepower which is still pretty low about half half and half between the default one I get for just leveling to 30 and about another almost 20k from my gear alone, weapons and armors included. So as you can see firepower does more than just increasing some numbers, it increases your weapon damage bonus in this case by 98.2%, essentially doubling whatever damage is that I'm doing with a weapon. In the case of this shotgun it would be 1700 damage but that would be doubled or almost doubled to 30. 400 damage and then all of the other bonuses on top like the plus 100% increase from using my movement abilities and so on and so forth so definitely pay attention to these raw stats these are the ones that are most important don't just look at the gear because that doesn't paint the full picture this screen right here gives you way more information and everything else that you need to know about your build the same way would be if you were playing with a spell build instead of going with fire power in that case you would be going with anomaly power which would increase your skill damage bonus but also your status effect like the damage of your burns your bleeds and also how much your ash effects or your freeze or anything else in between would last on the enemy so that's why i recommend it to check all of these together this is it though for now with the biggest mistakes that i'm seeing a ton of people doing and that i was also guilty of totally let me know down below if there's anything else i missed and i'll see you guys in the next one.